last Christmas I gave you my heart The very next day I gave it away This year To save me from tears I gave it Hey y'all, hey, it's Trey Monet, back to y'all with another video and welcome back to Vlogmas Day 10, y'all. Today is Vlogmas Day 10. We are in the beauty room, office room, closet room, whatever it is that you wanna go through and call it. And I cannot continue to go through and put this room on hold because the rest of my house is currently on hold unless this room is together, then I can go through and get everything else together. So we gotta get this room together, but I'm gonna show y'all what this room looking like and what we're basically about to do, if you're just now watching this, I have been trying to get my beauty room together um, as fast as I can because I need to be able to start working in here top of 2024 and I want to make sure that this room is completely done before the new year and I only got, what, three weeks left? So I definitely need to make sure that I get this entire room together. So let me show y'all what we're working with. All right, y'all, so when you first walk into uh, this room, you have two double doors, which I really, really love. I think this space is originally supposed to be like a den or like an office or whatever it is that you wanna go through and use it as. There's no closet in here. Um, so this is just a little tour. I went ahead and put my vanity right here. Y'all seen me do this entire build out of my vanity, so make sure you guys tune in and watch that video. I believe that was Vlogmas Day like three or four. Um, this wallpaper has been on this wall probably for like the last year since I've been in this house. So I'm going to leave it up. I wish I would have put it maybe like on this wall or maybe on like this wall, but it's cool. So first things first that you see when you walk in here is you have my desk. Y'all, my desk looks uh, hideous. You got Louis bed down there because he likes to sleep up under me. So I just keep his bed in here because he likes to sleep there when I'm working. But one thing that I am going to be doing, y'all, is I'm going to get a new desk um, top. So if y'all can see, like, this top right here can come completely off. And then these shelves are from Ikea. So basically, this entire setup is from Ikea. What I want to do is I want to put a big mirror right here in the corner. So that way, whenever I'm taking pictures or if I'm doing any, like, get ready with me type of content behind me you will be able to see my entire closet and my vanity in my background i was going to put the mirror over here but i feel like you're going to just be able to see my desk and stuff and i don't really want that to be seen so i'm going to see how it looks with the mirror in this corner before i go out and buy a new tabletop from ikea the tabletops from ikea are like 60 dollars for the red measurements that i need but i want to make sure before i spend the money on it because i do like having this long desk because as y'all can see, it fits so much stuff. Whereas if I do get the one that's 55 feet, this one right here is 78 inches. I'm sorry, 78 inches, not 78 feet. If I get the one that's 55, that's going to cut off almost like 20, 20 plus inches from the desk. So I'm not going to have as much space. But I feel like I don't need that much space in here because I have so much other areas within the room that I can use for storage. So... That's like basically the situation going on with my desk right now. I am planning on putting my calendar. If y'all see my calendar right here, this calendar, I'm planning on putting this up right here. So I'm going to move this little mail letter thing. I'm going to move that behind the door right here. This mirror that's right here, I'm going to, I don't know where I'm going to put that yet. I think I'm going to put it in my bathroom. So Maybe this will go behind the door in my bathroom or this will go in the guest room. More than likely, I'll probably put this in the guest room. Um, so we have that. And then over here, this little cubby cube situation is basically storage for like all of my equipment. Um, I'll probably have like jewelry and like just different odds and ends that I don't really have anywhere for it to go inside of these cubes. For the most part right now, it's really just like all of my camera and my tech stuff. So all of that stuff will be in here. So that way it's all nice and concealed and clean and not just all out in the open. So I'm really trying to make this office as storage friendly and minimalistic as possible because y'all can see I have a lot of stuff in here, but I just don't want it to be seen and I don't want it to be as visible as it is. So that's where these cubes are going to come into play. Also on top of this stand, I'm probably going to be putting my jewelry and my sunglasses and maybe a couple other things up here as just like a little display. Over here, we got another bookshelf. So I am debating whether or not I wanna keep this bookshelf in here or if I wanna put it in another room. 
it isn't the best. I'm not going to say it's not the best quality. I've just had this bookshelf for like two years. And as y'all can see, it wasn't smart of me to put all the books at the top because it's now it's weighing down the rest of the shelf and there's not much weight at the bottom of it. Um, so it's like a little bit wobbly and it's not as stable as it was when I first bought it and I first put it together. So I'm debating whether or not I'm still going to even use this shelf or if I'm going to put it in like a completely different room or whatever. So I got to figure that out. And then y'all know I bought three bookshelves from Target that are exactly like this that I'm going to be basically using as the closet. So this entire wall right here is going to be the closet. And then I got to get on Amazon and buy some more rods. The rods that y'all see me buy from Home Depot the other day, they were good, but I want them to be black because I want to have hints of black inside of this room as well. And then of course, y'all know I got my vanity mirror that I have yet to put up and I need to probably put that up first. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to do a whole reel of me putting the vanity um mirror up. So that'll go right here. And then I'll have this mirror right here too, just in case if I want something that's just a little bit closer. I haven't yet decided if I'm going to hang the vanity on the wall or if I'm just going to leave it on the stand. I want to hang it on the wall because if y'all can see like this vanity is very narrow and it doesn't have a lot of space. So I want to be able to optimize as much space as I can because if I don't, it's going to take up this much space. It's going to take up like almost half of the vanity. So I'm not going to have that much room to work with. So I think I'm going to just put it on the stand for now, on the desk stand for now, and then I'll figure out where to go later on. And then last but not least, this rug is going to go somewhere. I don't know where it's going to go. I might sell it. I don't know, but the rug got to go because it just doesn't fit the vibe. And then I want to get a new rug to go in here. And then I also want to get a chandelier to put up here. So I don't know if these people told me or not, if I can take down a, um, <laughs> if I can take down a fans and stuff, but I'm going to take down a fan because this is ugly. And I want this whole room to be a nice little vibe. So this fan got to go and we're going to get a chandelier from um, Amazon that I'm going to put up here instead. So let's get started, y'all, with getting this room together. Because this room is a mess and I need to start being able to utilize it. I have so many plans for like the new version of content that I plan to put out for next year that I'm like, this room has to be done in order for that entire vision to kind of go through and come to life. So let's get started. building the shelves i am extremely tired i'm hungry and this took a little bit longer than i thought that it would and i also messed them up just a little bit so i want to show y'all that but i'm really loving the turnout i can't wait to like actually get my stuff in here it, the room is looking so good oh i can't wait so let me go ahead and show y'all so this is what it's looking like so we got the shelves all nice in here i didn't put the actual shelves inside of anything yet because I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to put my clothing racks in here. So this is basically like the little turnout. I really love how this came out. I still have not fully decided whether or not I'm going to keep this shelf right here. Y'all let me know in the comments. Should I keep the far shelf right there? Or should I take it out and put a plant in that corner? That's what I was thinking of taking that last shelf out, putting a plant in that corner. So that way it just doesn't look like extremely overcrowded but i am loving the way that it turned out like i got my vanity here my mirror is gonna go right here i'm gonna do that right now after i kind of clean up and tidy up just a little bit my little storage containers are here my desk is right here so i do got to figure out when i'm gonna go to ikea to get a smaller desk so that way i'll be able to put my mirror right there in the corner 
So I gotta figure that out. And then I also am glad that I was able to save enough space so that way I'm able to use this outlet right here. And then we have another outlet right here too. If y'all can see, there's another outlet right there. So this came out so good, y'all. I'm about to put my vanity together. We gonna go ahead and organize her up so that way I'm able to start using this room tomorrow. And yes, I'm so excited, y'all. Everything came out so good. So I am trying to figure out what we gonna do about these shelves. I was thinking of putting a clothing rod right here and then putting another clothing rod right here, leaving this space open, but maybe putting some shelves so that way I can do like handbags, clothes, and then at the bottom of these, shoes, shoes, and then purses. So I'm thinking purses in this one, clothes, clothes, shoes, shoes, and then up here, sunglasses and perfumes. So I think that's exactly what I'm gonna go ahead and do. I think to cover up these little mistakes that I made, if y'all can see here, I basically kind of like just dug the nails in too deep. I did it on all of them. So there's there, there, and then there. I think I'm gonna put a shelf like right here. And then down here, maybe, I don't know what I'll put down there. But I think that that'll be good. So that, cause I'm not anticipate, I'm anticipating to put the clothing rods all the way up here. And that's just a lot of space. Cause y'all know clothes ain't gonna be but so high. I'm thinking it's just gonna land probably, it's gonna land probably like right here. So that'll be enough storage space right there for me to maybe put some stuff down there as well. So I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna do it yet, but luckily the way that these little tacks are, you can kind of interchange them however you like. So I'm kind of gonna go ahead and probably get started with this center one, getting this one together. And then I'll show y'all the outcome. Actually first, let's put together this uh, vanity and then I'm gonna show y'all everything else later on. So how are y'all feeling the vanity? Y'all, it looks so good. So not only did I go ahead and finish the vanity, I also went ahead and pretty much finished the bookshelves. I haven't put too much on them just yet, but I do wanna show y'all real quick. So this is how the vanity is looking. I got some clothes right here cause I just wanted to measure on the bookshelf how much space I needed in between each shelf to be able to put clothes. So that's what I've did so far, but I'm gonna show y'all that in a second. But yes, let's get into the vanity y'all. Like I love it so much. Like look, isn't this so, it's so bright. It does, it looks way brighter on camera than it actually is in real life. I wish it was just a tad bit brighter. But to be honest, it looks pretty good. Um, I feel like I am gonna have to maybe add some lighting or something somewhere. Maybe I'll add like some LED lights or something along the frame of it. Cause I feel like it's not as bright as I would want it to be. Like I need to be able to see, you know, how I'm looking when I'm doing my makeup. And I feel like it's just a tad bit too dim for me. So I wish it was just a little bit brighter. I can go ahead and buy maybe those little lights that you can put on the different sides. And I feel like that'll add a little bit more light. But all in all, it looks really good. It did come with this little um, suction cup um, mirror that you can use. Oh, I just broke it, I think. <laughs> that you can use for like, um, you know, up close and personal viewing and all that. I'm gonna just stick it there. But you can change the dimming of it. You just have to hold it. And as y'all can see, it's like, is it doing it? It says you're supposed to like long press it. So that's off. You have different settings. So this is like the cool, this is the warm setting. This is the bright setting. And then you're supposed to be able to long press. There it is, it, it's dimming. And then if you long press it again, it'll get brighter. So yeah, I wish it was just a tad bit brighter. I feel like it is just a little bit dark for my liking, but I think that it'll do the job. Um, but I do wish it was a little bit brighter. So yeah, y'all seen the vanity in like the last couple of vlogs, I'm assuming. If not, I got this vanity from Ikea. It will be linked down below so that way you guys can go ahead and grab it. And then I got the mirror as well from Amazon. I'll have that link down below so you guys can grab that too. And then this little mirror right here, I got this from Ikea too a long time ago. So I'll have that just here like in the corner if I just need some extra little mirror space but let's get into the closet bookshelf situation y'all i did such a good job putting this together i'm so proud of myself because i did it all by myself in probably like maybe three hours i think it took me so this is what it's looking like 
It looks so, so good. Only thing I don't like is like this little crack right here. Y'all see how this one's like nice and smooth and like going together. I don't know if there's some type of space or maybe it's leaning a little bit. I don't know what that's about, but I wish that it was not like that gap here. I wish it was just like together like this. I don't know if maybe I got to move it together. I think I probably got to move it together in the back. I think and maybe it'll be better that way. But yes, so far, all I did was just add like all of my jewelry on here. I'm not really a big jewelry girl. Like I keep my jewelry very, very simple. Um, so I have like my fossil watch, both of my JBW watches. If y'all can see it, if it's focusing, if y'all can see that my sunglasses, I have a lot of sunglasses that I need to go in here and add to this collection. All of my key sunglasses are here. I'm a huge key sunglass fan, key quay, however you say it. So all of those are there. And then this is like my little jewelry trunket thing right here that I just keep my jewelry in. Y'all, the saga continues. Guess what just came in the mail? My new camera lens. So we gonna unbox it together. I had my camera on the charger for the last couple hours. So we should be good to go. And I'm excited to see this new lens y'all because I am sick and tired of being sick and tired of these camera lenses. Your girl trying to get in her content bag in 2024. So I need these this um, camera lens to give what it's supposed to give. And this is my third lens in the past three days. So let's go ahead and open this box up. And let's see. I think that we might be done with our um, journey of finding a camera lens. So this is the lens that I got y'all. This is the Sigma 16 millimeter 1.4. And I heard really, really good things about it as it relates to this camera. Everyone said this is the perfect lens to get for this camera. Um, if y'all follow like Aaliyah's face, if y'all follow um, Peyton, Charles, they use a very similar lens. I think theirs might be 15 millimeters, 1.4, but it's from the Sony brand. And that lens that they got is $600. I'm not paying $600 for a lens. This one right here was like three something. So let's get into it, y'all. Cause I am tired of buying camera lenses and I'm ready to actually create some really great high quality content. Mind you, y'all know I just went and got a new camera too, the DJI Osmo, the little camera I'm vlogging on right now, but that's a vlogging camera. You can't really use that. You can if you want to, but I don't want to use that, this camera right here when I'm um going through and doing sit down videos. So this says Sigma four year warranty, protect your gear now. I definitely need to do this. Full coverage against effects. Oh, perfect. I'm definitely about to register for the warranty if this is, you know, the camera that I need. Other little pack stuff that we don't really care about. So let me just go ahead and sit all of this to the side. And then let's get into the camera lens itself. Um, I did see a couple people complaining that it was heavy. Um, so, oh, it is a really big lens. This is a really big lens. Like... I was thinking that I'm going to be able to take this with me when I go out, like just have it in my purse. But if you know me, I am a small purse kind of girl, so that's not going to work. So let's actually see if this is going to work for us, y'all. Mm, I don't like that. Why is the lens just like the lens cap just fell completely off of it? I don't like that. I don't like that. Mm -mm. Anywho, let's go ahead and take this off. Um, let me sit it in here though so it don't get scratched. And then let's take off the kit lens. Ooh. And then let's put this one on. I'll line up the white dots. Click it into place. And y'all, let's see. This is a really big lens. Like this lens right here compared to this lens, like it's like literally triple the size. Um, so mm, I don't really like that. But let's go ahead and see. What is given? All right, let's see. Um, I feel like my oh, it's no, it's no SD card in here. Okay, let me get an SD card. Where is my SD card? Is it in the computer? Let me remove my SD card from this computer. And let's get into it. It looks like my settings might have shifted on here. OK, 
Cause this not looking good. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. This this not looking good. It still looks extremely up close. How are people vlogging with this? People said that they like literally vlog with this. I'm like, how? I'm not liking this, y'all. I'm not liking this at all. I'm not liking this at all. Let me see. Maybe I gotta change the mode. Ugh. I am not liking this at all. It looks so yellow. This looks exactly like the lint, like this. This literally looks the same. Cause this right here is what a 16 to a 50 millimeter lens. And it's a 2.8. Y'all, I don't know what to do. I do not know what to do, but it's just not giving. It's not giving in the least bit. Oh my goodness. I don't know y'all, we gonna figure it out. I'm gonna let y'all know whatever I figure out when it comes to this lens. I'm probably just gonna take it back. Um, I don't even know what to do at this point because I gotta film my sit down videos. My Canon camera is broken. Um, I broke the, the viewfinder on it, it's broken. It's been broken for like the last few months. This is the only camera I have that films high quality. Um, I'm going to have to figure out if there is a way that I can attach a monitor to this camera to just use it. But my goodness, I'm so disappointed because I don't know. I just feel like the autofocus should be so much better on this and it's just not given. I'm going to play with it a little bit, y'all. We're going to see. But thank y'all so much for tuning in to Vlogmas Day 10. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.